はい皆さんこんにちはどうもアメージンですはいこれからずっと英語ですから字幕をつけてくださいはいスタート Hey guys, I'm a j i n Des. So, in today's video, I'm going to basically show you how I've been studying Japanese、um, through adding translating videos on YouTube. To do this, you have to be kind of a high level of Japanese. You know, I've studied Japanese many years, I've lived in Japan.、Um, I'm at the point where I can watch Japanese、uh, YouTube videos and basically understand. 80% of what they're saying. One of my favorite YouTubers is this guy right here, Hikakin TV. He's actually probably the most famous YouTuber in Japan. He's huge over there. Everyone knows him and everyone kind of loves him. He's an internet celebrity. So I'm gonna click on his YouTube account, Hikakin TV. And I found this video、uh, last night. I was watching it. It's a story video talking about. A, here you can see taxi untenshu ni buchi kiremashita, which means he became furious by the taxi driver. What I'm gonna do is click on this video. This is a video I want to translate. To translate or to contribute translations to a video, you have to first find the video, click on it like this. And then you wanna click these ellipses here and then add translations. And then it brings you to this page. You can first translate the title and description and then add subtitles to the actual video. I always do both. I always translate from Japanese to English. It's really great listening practice and you learn a lot of new vocabulary that way. Through this video, too, I'm gonna give you guys kind of tips and tricks on how to translate good translations,、uh, what to do if you're stuck, things like that. So, this title is called Taxi Untenshu ni Buchi Kiremashita. Which roughly translates to I was infuriated by a taxi driver. But that doesn't really sound like a good title, so I'm gonna think of something that s kind of fits more as a title. Maybe like, ah, maybe like taxi driver infuriation. infuriation. And then This video, I believe, means just complaining. Like, whenever, I don't, whenever I'm not really sure on a word or、um, some phrase of text, I have installed Safari Kai,、uh, which is a plugin that allows me to hover over Japanese and then brings up a dictionary definition. Gucci.、Uh, yeah, idle complaint to grumble. So, I want to try to include every element of his. Title and description. So I'm going to try to translate this as、um, you have to think about what YouTubers in English would would type, would write if they were trying to communicate this thought of、um, a grumbling video. A grumbling video, that's not how I would say it. Me complaining, basically. I think that's fine. And then I would copy and paste his. Description in Japanese and then just change、uh, when you do this, you want to try to make it look as professional as possible. So, you know, proper capitalization, punctuation, proper grammar, things like that. Keep、um, your formatting cons consistent, don't add any weird spaces or lines. Okay. Now that everything is translated and done, submit contribution. Now I have the option to translate and add subtitles to the actual video itself, which I'm going to do. Wow, sometimes、um, I've been translating Hikakin's videos into English for the past month or so, and it's just been me. No one has ever really been adding. Uh, translations from the community before, but it looks like someone did already. I can work on those translations,、um, I can change them, 
What I always like to do before I do any work is click this credit my contribution button so that everyone knows that it was me who did the work. So what I usually do is just watch the video and as I watch the video, I add translations as I watch progressively. So let's watch a little bit. Let me turn the volume. Parts um, where YouTubers scream or they do sound effects or just sounds in general that aren't real words, I don't translate those. Hikakin does add his own um, subtitles to his videos and he does include those in there, but it's a very Japanese thing to do and I don't, I don't see it as very professional in English, so I just don't translate those. It's up to you though. Okay, some of these, some of these subtitles are a little off. And whoever translated, whoever attempted to translate this last time did not do a very good job. So the person who who added the English translations for the subtitles translated it in a way that I would not translate it. With YouTube, it's a little different. With a big YouTuber like Hikaki, you want to at least appear a little professional, and that means you have to kind of be safe or PC, politically correct. This means not really showing, not really translating words into bad words or using really vulgar or a lot of slang, unless it's clearly obvious that the speaker of the video or the speaker in the video wants to communicate that idea. This person translated chikisho to damn. And yes, it can be translated that way, but because we want to kind of dim the language down, for the children, right? In case there's any kids watching this. I would translate it as, not damn, but not really sure what I would translate it as actually. When I don't know, I usually go to my trusty dictionary app. And hopefully that will give me some ideas. Wow, this is seemingly vulgar. I would say, I, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. <laughs> You'll notice too that these subtitles go last past the point which he said the actual word and past his own uh, Japanese subtitles that he added in there. Professionally, you want to keep your English translation translated subtitles the length of the uh, subtitles that the author or the creator added in themselves. So I'm going to trim back, I can't believe this, to the exact amount of time that the Japanese text of that is on the screen. <laughs> Perfect. And again, these subtitles are not Aligned correctly. Hello, YouTube. Hi, I've got mad is just wrong. <laughs> this is not at all a good translation. Maybe someone who speaks English as a second language tried to do this. So this is actually a joke. Normally he says domo hikakin but buchikire means infuriated. And he said buchikire kin. What did he say? Buchikire kin So he's combining his name and buchikire, buchikireru together. 
translating jokes or wordplay puns like that is actually really hard, and I have done it before, and it it was really good. But this one, domo, is simply. There's really no way I could translate the pun, so I'm gonna have to say, Hi, it's Angry Hikaki. One of the great things about doing this is you learn, you run into words you don't know all the freaking time, or phrases you don't know all the freaking time, and I can just look them up in my dictionary and boom, they're in my head, which is so great. I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so it means frankly. Sometimes there are points um, where the author, the creator, just doesn't say anything, but they put in subtitles in their own native language. Uh, there's this point right here where Hikakin added uh, tochaku. He added this word, which means, you know, arrival or like you just arrived somewhere. Um, I usually translate those as well, but I do it in brackets, angle brackets. And I add it like that. <laughs> Uh, so I started around 150-ish, 145-ish maybe, and now it is 2.42, so about an hour, a little under an hour, I just finished this five, about five minute video, and that's usually the time it takes me to do all these videos. Hikakin usually puts out one video a day, so I'm... If they're super long, if they're like eight minutes and above, usually I don't, I just don't even take the time to add subtitles to them. Um, if they're below that, usually I do, especially if I, you know, I usually view the videos first and if I understand them well and if I get what he's saying, then I have the confidence to go ahead and do the translations. So I just finished and I'm going to click submit contribution.